everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really really well today i am filming a haul from home bargains i went to home bargains last week and i've just left my bags in my hallway knowing that i wanted to film this video <laughs> and i finally found some time after work i hope you're all doing really really well i have two bags from home bargs this one is heavy. Let's get kind of straight into it. I spent in total 41 pounds and 13 pence. Some of the things from Home Bargains are presents. So I'm gonna say, if you are my partner or you are my cousin, then you're not allowed to watch this video. Really sorry. Um, Charlie, you're probably watching. There's only one thing in here, but still, no. Um, <laughs> Um, let's just start with the light bag. I'll tell you prices as well. The first thing is for someone in my family and they love Oreos and I found these. These are um, festive favourites. There must be like a pack of original. There's the ones covered in white chocolate. There's the golden ones and there's the ones covered in milk chocolate. I very nearly bought this person something else I saw at Home Bargains which was like Christmas coloured cream in the middle of Oreos. So there were Oreos with a red centre, there were Oreos with a green centre, and then I can't remember if there was another colour or not. But actually, I thought this looked better. This was £1.79. I've already eaten these, <laughs> but I kept the box to show you. Cadbury Festive Friends. I used to love animals when I was growing up, and then these are the Festive Friends. They were 99p. I thought they were okay that's about it and um, i bought something for my little hot chocolate station which i was really excited to see they are peppermint candy spoons i thought they'd be so cool just like in a hot chocolate um or like in a in a mug or something on my little hot chocolate stand and they were 1.99 and there's one two three four five there's six of them i saw this sign there was this one that says Xmas and there was also one that said ho ho ho. Uh, I decided to go for the Xmas one and I really like a wooden sign. I saw one the other day, I can't even remember where I was and I was like, oh, I kind of want to buy that. But I saw this one in Home Bargains. I love the Christmas section. There's so much out at the moment. This wooden plaque was one ninety nine. And I just think it would look really good maybe underneath my TV or on the shelves in my kitchen above my cooker, something like that. Love a wooden sign. Really excitingly, I've got some ibuprofen <laughs> tablets. These are my favourite ones. They are red. Let me, let me get you a nice little zoom in. They are red. They are rounded. They're like oval capsules. 99p a pack. I really like them. I couldn't resist some Christmas hair stuff. So I bought myself um, this like red hair tie scrunchie with the white fur trim on it. And then this one with the green pom-poms looks like a Christmas wreath, nice and sparkly. I just, I work with children. I love stuff like this. Um, and that means I can just wear my hair up but still be festive, which I love. They were 79p each, which I think is amazing. I think they'd be really good stocking fillers and like presents for people as well. Got some Christmas twine. This one comes with like a, a usual kind of natural twine, then a red one and then a red and white striped one. And I've just decided this year that my kind of theme with all my presents is just going to be like brown paper, red, white, that kind of thing. Um, this was 99p for all three of these, which I think is really good. When I'm in a shop and I'm trying to find ribbon and stuff, I feel like they're really expensive sometimes. Got some tree decorations, if I'm honest with you. I bought some of these uh, the other week from Sainsbury's and then I hadn't done a food shop in ages. I feel like it was when I had COVID and was just recovering from it and could taste again. And I was like, I need chocolate. So I ate them and now I've replaced them. <laughs> I like these. I don't know like why, like I just like putting them on my tree and then after Christmas eating them. Um, <laughs> But these were $1.49 for a pack of 12 chocolate baubles. 
some basic toilet stuff uh pine scented stick thing that goes in your toilet really exciting it was 119 and these i decided to try i know i'm really pushing the boat out i normally buy the blue range of cistern things i normally buy the purple ones and they make the water purple and these were cheaper so i just decided to try them there's six in a pack here they're from pink sunny care pink Lou soft pink flush these were 99p for six which was a lot better than the blue ones so i got them um some things for my partner's stocking some gold coins you need gold coins in a stocking if you don't have gold coins and then you're not doing them right um bigger pack better value love gold coins chocolate coins 99p uh he loves reese's so i bought uh king size two peanut butter trees reese's trees for 99p i also got myself a pack ate them already and i also saw these little um i think they might be mini mini cups mini reese's cups here they were 99p for 70 grams that's one bag done let's stick on the theme of my boyfriend's stocking um a bottle of monster he doesn't drink as much energy drink anymore but this is his favorite one so i got him mango loco it's 129 there was a sign saying two for 250 which would li literally make it one pound 25 so saving like 4p each but um i said to just get the one so i can fit more in his stocking uh, I'm not sure what to get my godson. He is, I can't remember how old he is, like seven or eight. Uh, but I did see one thing, which is alien slime bath gel. I guess it's kind of like the shower jellies you can buy from Lush. And this was one, oh, it's rubbed off a bit. I think 129. I need to think of like something to go with it. Um, but I just thought it looked cool and I couldn't leave it. So I bought that bought some toilet wipes now i don't really like to use wipes because of the planet um but i do find these really handy when you're just having a quick wipe as in wiping off the toilet so i did get them because they're really nice and thick as well toilet wipes were 59p so cheap i need some shower gel and stuff and i saw this one and i just couldn't resist i love raspberry and blackberry 500 ml let's give it a little sniff Mm. oh it does smell lovely um and this was one pound 29 which i thought was a very good deal oh this i was excited about they've got some like dupes of the bath and body works candles now not only do they have these in home bargains there are also similar ones now in asda this year as well the asda ones are five pounds these home bargain ones are 2.49 i saw these ones first there was this one which is twisted peppermint which is like a pink candle and the kind of outside looks like that there was also one called candy apple the candy apple one to me didn't smell very strong at all um and I, and also had one wick and then this one has two wicks which i don't really understand this definitely does smell minty, but also has this other kind of nice scent to it that I couldn't even tell you what it was, but it just smells like more rounded than just peppermint. Smells nice. Um, and yeah, I just thought, 2 49 you can't really go wrong, can you? I'll burn it, see what it's like, see if the payoff is strong because Bath & Body Works candles are expensive. In the UK, you're paying like, I don't know, 20, 25 pounds for a candle. So, <laughs> I mean, if I can get one for 2.49, I'm gonna get one for 2.49. So yeah, I thought I would try that one out. Um, I also got some of the new, I mean, it's not that new anymore, but it is still quite new frosted eucalyptus scented things um it says loved by mrs hinch uh the lenore and the like incense
booster beads now these are like in a cardboard packaging and were more expensive than the plastic ones however the plastic ones they didn't have many flavors they normally do have a lot of different scents not flavors and i just thought oh i want them to match so i'm gonna buy them both um it smells really nice from what i remember i kind of need this now because i've just run out of my other one mm. it smells like it reminds me of pine i am but yeah still not for me a christmasy scent i'm on the lookout for the comfort frosted pine and apple or something more christmasy um but these will definitely do for now so this lenore was 249 and then the beads were 299 um and there are 176 grams of beads in there so i bought them i also needed a new like surf i'm thinking of changing to powder and my washing machine please let me know what you use in your washing machine but i went for surf but i didn't want one of the really fruity ones because then they might overpower the frosted eucalyptus so the one i thought that like matched those the best was deep sea minerals because it's kind of plain but also not mm, it just smells like fresh and like a little bit salty <laughs> Mm, just what you want salty clothes but it does but also it just smells nice um and this is 2 .99. i like surf um but yeah i am thinking of changing to powder got one of these sifts i love sif for my hob love it so much this is in a scent called winter warmth which i was like oh i'll get that and it was one pound and nine pence I don't want to squeeze any out though. Hmm. Smells like the usual sif with a mixture of <sighs> mm. I actually can't really tell. So we'll see what it's like. Um but yeah, so we've got that. I saw these. These are by the brand Cussons Creations, which are a cheaper brand to Imperial Leather these shower gels are called dash sound through the snow and they are in the scent cinnamon sugar and winter sparkles they were 95p each so i bought one for me and one for someone else for christmas and yeah i thought that might be quite cute nice little present i got an air freshener in cozy christmas now when i was looking at air fresheners there was an old couple right next to me and i didn't want to spray any because i didn't want to like disrupt what they were doing this was 1.99 and i haven't even smelled it yet let's give it a sniff oh oh <clears throat> that's not what i was expecting I don't even know how to explain that. It's like a little bit of baking mixed with niceness. It's sweet. It's not like, I expected Cozy Christmas to be more like a fireplace and like spices. No, this isn't. Um, but there's also no description of the scent on the back. Um, yeah that's all i can tell you <laughs> um, but i'm glad i went for that in the end and then the last thing i bought was uh by elbow grease and it's a foaming toilet cleaner in berry blast fragrance it's new apparently <laughs> i had seen the pink stuff one and i'd seen mrs hinch cleaning with it and it looked insane like amazing the amount of stuff it, and the amount of foam it created um i couldn't see the pink stuff one but i decided to buy this and see if it's similar this is foaming toilet cleaner 179 so yeah there we go the second bag done that is everything that i bought from home bargain so a good mixture of like cleaning stuff that i kind of needed and then some christmas stuff as well uh i hope you enjoyed this video i have planned to go and do a festive bargain shop 
with my cousin as I have done now for like the past couple of years I feel like we've done it um and so depending if I get much I will definitely do a, another haul we're thinking of like home bargains B&M the range I don't know where else we will end up um but yeah we normally just like go everywhere we fill my boot it's not that hard I've got a Ford KA but still we fill my boot up we then all have stuff all over the back seat and we just have, have to help each other carry everything into our houses because we always buy so much um so yeah that's in a couple of weekends um I will keep you updated but yeah, please let me know if there is anything kind of Christmassy that you would like to see. I'm definitely going to do Vlogmas and film it like a week at a time. Do like a Vlogmas weekly vlog. Um, and I'm also going to do a video on like me getting the decorations out because that will be at the end of November, I think. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's anything you would like to see. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week in my next video.